The end of May is usually the kickoff to summer at Hampton Beach, but during this year's three day holiday weekend, the normally buzzing boardwalk is expected to be quiet. For many, this is not going to be your typical uh, a week of May right before Memorial Day. Barricades still block parking lots and the beaches remain closed under the governor's orders. Not a soul on the sand on a recent sunny spring day as seen in these aerial photos. And while retailers have been allowed to start reopening, some are choosing not to. This is life changing. Joyce Shipley Alders has run a giftware shop inside the casino building on Ocean Boulevard for more than 40 years. But with its small and narrow layout, she says it was almost impossible to comply with the state's reopening restrictions for social distancing. And with so many unknowns ahead, she decided to close. Three out of my four workers, staff are over 67 years old and I'm in my 60s and you know I just didn't feel it was the right time this year to open. At the Casino Ballroom, Hampton's venue for big music artists, most shows have been canceled or postponed through the end of June. The wave of COVID-19 has also paused weekly fireworks and shows at the seashell. The famous sand sculpting classic has been delayed until September, but there is some sun shining on the shore. A handful of eateries have reopened for takeout, trickling in local foot traffic, and soon there will be more. With the, uh, the help of the town uh, and public safety, we're going to have 25 restaurants opening up their outside dining this Monday. John Nyan is with the Hampton Area Chamber of Commerce and is on the governor's reopening task force. The group has put together a plan to partially reopen beaches on June 1st to allow things like swimming, walking and surfing, but the governor has to sign off on it and it's unclear when and if that may happen. In Hampton, Tyler Dumont, WMUR News 9.